and welcome back to Risk Five CPU Design. In this little mini module, we don't really have to do anything else except to congratulate ourselves. What do we congratulate ourselves on? Well, we have just designed a complete data pad that can execute every single one of the RV32i instructions from Risk Five ISA. That's quite amazing. That enables us to execute as any C program that we can compile into RISC-V assembly on our custom processor. That's quite an accomplishment. So every single one of these instructions from the RISC-V green sheet can be executed. There are two of them that are left that deal with OS support, but we really don't need them for compiling programs. So in a very quick summary, we have designed a complete data path. It is capable of executing all RX5 instructions in a single cycle each. Now, keep in mind that we have designed one version of a hardware. There can be multiple different implementations of RISC V data path. In ours, not every single instru instruction was lighting up every element in a data path, every unit in a data path, but every element or every unit was lit up somehow. So every single one of them had a purpose. We also have seen that the execution can be generally separated into separate phases of execution. So we had instruction fetch, instruction decode with register access, execute phase, memory access phase, and write back. And what we have seen that not every single instruction is active in every single one of these phases. Um, some of them may be active in just four out of five phases. Now, important thing that we have been touching on is the this controller that was configuring the data path to execute the instructions properly. We have talked about what kind of signals we would like to get out of that control unit, but we haven't spent much time or any time on designing the control unit. So that's what you're going to do next. See you then.